We are here in the National Championship Series of 2020. We are going to play a best of three against San Diego. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Go ahead and hit that like button. Definitely helps out a ton. Just looking at the brackets. San Diego had the driver's seat, lost it, but they're back in it. Having a good season. So we have a three game series right in a row. We are going to go with Slade Ciccone to start game one. The reason behind that is because he started the first game of the College World Series. We only had three games before getting to this series, and he had the first one. And based on the schedule, I figured we can give Brian Van Bell that extra day. So he'll go game two. And then Chris McMahon just pitched us into the final. Pitched really well, and he'll get game three if we have to go to game three. One thing that stands out to me about San Diego, checking out their roster, doing a little bit of scouting. They've got decent hitters. Their catcher's a pretty good player. But the big thing that stands out to me is their pitching. They have a lot of solid arms. They're starting pitching pretty good ratings for their players. So I feel like that's going to be something to, to watch as this series goes on. But one thing I've paid attention to, essentially all, the way the whole year has gone, particularly in this postseason games is getting a good feel of your opponent. And I think that, that will be key. I felt like that way against Vanderbilt in the College World Series to win those last two games, particularly at the plate, trying to find out hot zone, cold zone, what works, what doesn't work. And that's essentially how it went throughout the regular season. As well, obviously, when you have those weekend series, but just so much more emphasis during these games in the postseason. So, off to a good start. Slade's pitch well, so there he is. Kerner, their catcher. I just have to make sure. It's kind of like with Austin Martin and Vanderbilt. Just definitely need to make sure I lock in here. Okay, that's a great start. He's out. Good outing by Slade. And speaking of Slade, if you guys have been following the channel, following the series, obviously 2020 real rosters, both squads here. They're going with Jake Miller. But the way I was looking at it, like, Slade is a technically a sophomore. He was a draft-eligible sophomore, and he was drafted in the first round. But in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, for our Dynasty series here, let's bring him back for 2021 because he's technically a sophomore, and that's how the game works. However... I want to let you guys know, we're going to try to stay true to form for 2021. Meaning, guys like Slade, Freddie Zamora Jr., Chris McMahon Jr., we're not going to wait to see how the game progresses those players. We're going to go ahead and take them off. And in turn, also with that, guys like Tony Jenkins up to bat here. Okay, that'll drop. That's going to definitely drop. There we go. Okay, go to get there. That's a great... Great start, man. I wanted to go two, but man, he got there really quickly. I figure I'll just steal second. That'll work out. But in turn, guys like Tony Jenkins, Alex Terrell, guys have had really good junior season for us. We're not going to wait to see how the game, what it decides with the draft. You guys know I like to steal second with Tony Jenkins. But I saw that pitch there. I, I could not pass up on it. Now we're sitting here first and third. There we go. Oh, my goodness. I thought I'm just so used to him being safe. Wow. Okay. It's not going to be easy, I guess. I talked about the catcher. What is going <laughs> What is going on? They make that nice play, and now he just drops the ball in left field. Okay, we'll, we'll take that run. It would have been a sack fly anyways. But we'll take it there. So he gets a second. Del Castillo gets a second. Okay, let's drive him in Terrell. A two-seam fastball. It's tough to line these up, but I, I owe two here. There we go. Nice. Just kind of fisted one there to left field. I'm taking advantage of that throw home. There we go. Okay, this is a great start. This is what we need to get, especially against a team like this that we're expected to win. Expected to play well against. Oh, man. 
Definitely want to get this lead bigger here in the number first three inning. Three is the number six batter hitting 361 with 10 Man, homers. Weekly hit. Okay, well, we got to run. Would have liked more. For the out. But that's okay. So, yeah, what I was saying, 2021, definitely I want to keep this series going. Hopefully you guys want to. you got to hit the like button, especially on these games at the end. So I know that you guys really are enjoying this and you want to keep it going. And so the plan is I'll just play out the College World Series here, this, these final games. Every day like I've been doing, every day new video. And then I'll figure out the offseason stuff, how we're going to do that. Take a little break. See if you guys are interested in it. Fuldham with a fastball came inside and caught part of the play. And then we'll look we'll look to go to 2021. But again, guys like Slade will go on without him. And we'll move forward with like the real as real of a roster as we can get with the 2021 Hurricanes. Obviously not trying to throw it to second there. Okay. Hit on the ground, but you know what? I've gotten used to some of these the kind of the, the quirks of the game. I, I guess I would attribute that to. to it's one to and it's it, it's okay. Like I, I'm kind of used to it. It's not a it's not the most perfect baseball game, but it's still a lot of fun. I, I would recommend There's it if you guys like college baseball. It's a lot right of fun. Field. And the batter's out. Little disappointed to see how recruiting's gone. Number ten is digging in. Nobody on base. But I, I am confident that we'll get that done. And and that's another thing for the off season type stuff. Like before we go ahead, we definitely want to look at recruiting, all that stuff. But yeah, I mean, let me know if you guys want to keep this thing going. Hit that like button. Drop in the comments if you want. If you want to see 2021. You can always just pick up where we left off here. And it, I know twenty I know next season will be a challenge. Without the starting pitching. I already I already can tell. So we're gonna lose all three of our starting pitching. And while we like guys like McFarlane and Garland, like it's just a lot different. Than, oh my goodness. What are we doing? <laughs> I just I, I can't get mad because I just said I, I like that there's some it's not the perfect baseball game but that stuff's so frustrating especially in a game like this because the reason why like I think I'm right in the in the zone in the area and then Villar I thought I had him right there but evidently not and then Jenkins just just mistracked it okay okay didn't look like you went through the zone with that one. I still want this strike out here. See if we can get him. Oh, that's so close. Just missed. 91. That's got to be a strike. All right, 2-2. Two, two, let's go. That ball's hit in the get air there. One gone here in the inning. Over to second. Okay, and, and definitely just I, I know I say next. it quite a bit, but I I, I, I it, I'm just so I'm just so thankful of all you guys showing all your support. Like the whole season, we really did a whole season, played every single game. You guys have showed tons of support in the comments. Like it, it's it's really helpful to keep this thing going. I know everybody wanted the real season. And this is the best I could come up with. And hopefully they have the 2021 season. Hopefully that's not canceled as well. This so we'll just figure out what we're going to do with this series. Hangs in the air long for a play. The but right now I get... want to just give you guys a championship. I think the a squad deserves it. Obviously they had high expectations coming into the year. And so territory. many good players. A lot of guys had good seasons. It was great to see on this game. I just want to close this out with a championship. Hit on the ground toward the hole. Gotta get there. The inning's over. 
That's good. Made up for that little mistake there. Still up 1-0. Yeah, so you're going to see a, a good squad for 2021. I think we're going to have a good team. Guys, we're bringing back. Come on, Jenkins. There we go. Oh, my goodness. I was... Oh. It's a great hit. Don't get me wrong. And you guys know I like that ground rule double. But, man, I was hoping triple there. That's okay, though. We can still get him in. All right, Freddie. fly ball. The center fielder getting there and moving under, one gone. Thought that was a little too risky. Yeah, I would have got thrown out. I thought it was too risky. Especially with these guys coming up to bat. We got other opportunities to drive them in. Hit out to left. He's out of there to third. Okay, we're going to need Terrell to step up here. Two outs. Got that double earlier. Two gone. Oh, High did I get it? No. There's a change up inside. I stayed in on it and drove the ball, but not good enough to get it. Not good enough to hit hit a gap, but that's okay. Okay, top of four. We're up 1-0. First game of the finals. It's a shallow left. We're giving up some base runners here. A little disappointing. The batter looks to sacrifice. This one get there, get there. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to sneak out pop outs. There's a bunt toward first. Barehanded pickup and one gone. I don't want to risk it. I'm 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 not gonna let that go foul go foul. Like I'm gonna take that. If you want to sacrifice, I'll give it to you. We'll take the out. One on, one out. Pulled down toward third. The throw across to there we first. go. That's in time for the he out. does throws a little bit more on target, but that's okay. All right, we got two outs. Let's go ahead and close out this inning. There we go. All right, Slade. That's a way to get through it. What in the world? What was that guy doing? That's their that Kerner's their catcher. He was on second. I don't know what he was doing. The play was away from him. And he's out of there. That's Number big for them. They don't have a... They're not a crazy talented lineup. Can't keep it fair. It's and if they... Ball. They just lost Kerner and I... I guess he's... Who knows how long he's going to be out for him. But he might be out for the that series. That's high. big news for us. Tough break for them. The junior is We've dealt with injuries. Hit, and there's nobody out. But each time we've dealt with them, whether it was Jordan Lala, Raymond Gill, Alex Terrell... You know, even Tyler Page. He's out of there. The throw to we had so much depth that I never really worried about it. But for them to lose Kerner, that's a big deal. Hit to the left side of the infield. He's out. Throw to first. All right, good. Got down the line. I didn't allow a double play there. But yeah, one one thing I would highly recommend. And it's going to be, and, and I say that if you guys play this game, maybe just advice, or we'll also, the way I'm looking at for recruiting, there's two factors that I'm really going to be looking at. I think it's such an important thing to have good starting pitching, and it makes sense. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I know that's basic baseball, but I really see a big difference between my top three guys here and then when I go to anybody else whether it's bullpen what even when McFarland starts like he's usually pretty good he's just not quite as sharp as the other three so I definitely want to make sure we put make a starting pitching a high emphasis hopefully McFarland progresses in the offseason and then the other thing kind of a thing I never would pay attention to Okay, that was a nice play, and that's what I want to talk about, is defense. Especially infield defense. And Terrell's got pretty good ratings, and he does pretty well. And you guys saw the difference between when Terrell was injured and when I put Raymond Gill over there, he was dropping the ball. Or just not able to track ground balls as well. And so that makes a difference. And then the guys, the rest of the guys on the infield, third, 
Third base, shortstop, second base. If you don't time things right, and if you don't have good fielders, they're not gonna if they're range they're not gonna get the ground balls and their throws are gonna be all over the map. So I definitely want to make that a priority when we're looking at guys. Obviously, you want them to have good bats, but I think normally you would kind of just brush off the fielding like it's not a big deal. But this game, and it makes sense. It's not like MLB video games, which is it, it, it plays true to form. You know, Major League Baseball players don't have as many errors, but college baseball, there are some plays that seem routine, and there are errors on the play. So, I definitely want to make sure we're paying attention to that in recruiting, that they've got some good fielding ratings. This one hit high Did we get it? Go, go, go! Oh my shoulder, Oh my goodness. Cow this park is so big. I thought I thought we got a home run there. I even thought that Terrell fly ball there earlier to center was a well hit ball. And we're in the sixth inning. I'm unable to get things going. I feel I don't know. I feel okay at the plate. Fastball Results aren't there with the runs, but I'm not discouraged, but, you know, and sometimes I am. Sometimes I'm just, I'm swinging and missing. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, we got to cut this off. Oh, my goodness. He was, like, set on going three, and I thought he was, I was just throwing it into second base just to, like, get him there, but, man. I wonder if that, yeah, maybe if I, I should just throw into the third, I guess. I was just kind of formally thrown into the second, like it was no big deal. And by then, that guy, man, okay, so we got to run on third. And makes the play for the out. Now, lead off triple here in the sixth. We only up one out, so we can't afford stuff like that. Ground ball All right, Gil. Okay, good, good throw, out. I guess. I don't know. Got him out. I guess that's the most important thing. So we're sitting on two outs. I would love to get a strike out here, but I have to be careful with the left-handed batter. It's got some hot zones. So I want to stay out of those. There we go. And gives him a high fastball for an 0-2 count. There we go. We'll take it. I thought he was a. Uh, oh, we're gonna watch this replay. I, I want. I thought he. Yeah, kind of like short hopped him. But I was ready to throw it to first. So I was okay there. I thought it was gonna be a line out though. Okay, 1-0. Very good job by Slade there, keeping us in it, but keeping the guy over third. Number 44 is up next. Man, that's a decent hit ball, but unable to get a base hit. I don't know if things. Well, okay. San Diego. They're 38 and 20 coming into it, ranked 10th. They had to get through a tough bracket, Oklahoma State and South Carolina. Oh my goodness. That's terrible. What a terrible swing. I've got to wait on that. That is terrible. i got to wait on that. I can't do that. Okay. I waited on it. Oh my goodness, home run, Alex Corral. I waited on it, that's what I needed to do. That's crazy, I had one of the worst swings of the day, followed up by the best, that's crazy. That's the adjustment I needed to make though. I just had to sit back and wait on it. Alex Corral coming up big, his last few games. Great to see from him, he'll be back in 2021. Corral and Del Castillo and Jenkins. The big bat we lose is Zamora. But everyone else will come back. And I think that'll be good. I, I kind of had a decision to make what I wanted to do. I just thought it'd be good to just try to make it true to form as possible. Plus, I felt I felt like a little uncomfortable rolling Slade Sacconi out there for the 
for the opening today start in 2021 when he's this not going to be with the squad. With six First round play, pick, so two to nothing. I just didn't feel right about that. So if I decide to take Slade out, then let's let's go ahead and keep it going with everybody else is the way I was thinking. So starting pitching will be big. The seniors that we'll lose, outfielder Chad Crosby. He's been a great pinch runner, defensive replacement. So not a huge role. And then we'll lose Zamora. Oh my goodness, Villar. I need to... Off season, we need to see if we can get some defensive work done. Some defensive improvements there. Okay, Slade. All right, Villar. That was close, though. And, he, and it's not just every play is bad. I mean, he makes good plays. He turns double plays. There's just so much responsibility. All right, oh, man. And see, I don't know if Crosby would have made a difference in right field, but I was considering it because we're in the seventh, but I don't want to take the bat out of the lineup. There's a ground ball towards second base. On to first. That's in time for the out. Miami, I just want to make sure we got an out there. I know we gave up a run, but... Okay, there we go. We're going to get out of this. Yeah, I'll give up the run. I didn't want to, but I, I've done that earlier. You guys have seen that. I've thrown home and been late, and then everyone's safe, and it's a terrible decision. And then we're still in a jam because they'd have a guy at third. But anyways, that's why I took that, that easy out at first. And we're out of it, so but I want to get these guys warmed up here. All right, Villar, let's step up at the plate. There we go. Oh, man, I thought I had a shot at that double off the wall, but that's okay. And he recently had that home run, and he's hitting the ball a little bit better than he's been. So, again, those are the hitters that will lose. That we know about. Hopefully, JP Gates doesn't want to transfer. And, gives him a high and stuff like that, like two. in the game. So I don't want to. I don't want to stop the, the game from strikes. from doing its thing. Like if he, if JP right decides to leave or That's anybody else, outs. we'll go ahead and and, and go Number on without him. But today. I just thought with the draft stuff to the first that we'll go ahead and. Three up. And three down. You know, we'll, we'll just go ahead and, and, and figure that out with bringing guys back in that sense. And I guess if, if you guys feel strongly one way or the other, go ahead and drop in the comments. You guys are fans of the episodes if you're still watching these. Or, I mean, if you just jumped on because the it's the College World Series and the final, I'm change. glad you're here as well. Welcome. You can watch them back. You can always field. check out the series. But go ahead and drop in the comments if you've got an opinion on what you think I should matters. do. The go ahead and do that. But that's what I'm thinking. Oh, and then also just real quick, Foul thinking about the, the 2021 pitchers or the pitchers that we're going to lose. Brian Van Bell is a senior. And then we talked about Chris McMahon. Oh, my goodness. I'm giving up so many leadoff hits. I'm able to work out of it, but this tight of a game, I cannot, af I cannot afford that. The batter squares to sacrifice. Got a piece of that back to the screen. I want to, I want to palm quest on these lefties here. And he got it down toward first. Foul to the right side. And we also have our closer, Daniel Fetterman. I'm okay with bringing him in for the final innings. I'd prefer not to get him six outs, but... And he's not been extra sharp lately, so... We have Kaiser ready to go. Okay, we definitely need to get a strike here. Two, two. Oh man, I thought Either he would chase. Okay, we got it. We ball. obviously we cannot walk him. We got to throw a strike. I hate it. 
I don't get in too many situations like this, but I can't afford to walk him. Three balls, two strikes. Oh my goodness, Carson Palmquist, a strikeout on a 3-2 count. Eighth inning of the College World Series final, that was huge. Coach is on his way out to I'm the trying body. to give, I do that to, yeah, so I give Fetterman more time to get the ready. It boosts his bar a little bit. I just feel more comfortable with Fetterman. Kaiser's been good, but let's just go ahead and. He squares to sacrifice. He drops down the butt. See if we can have him get a five out save. Foul off the right side. Two to one. We're in a tight one here. There we go. Daniel Fetterman throwing that sinker. That's what we needed to do. I like that sinker. That's something in the offseason I'd like to see Fetterman sharpen up a little bit. Because I think it'd be such a great outfit, an out pitch. But yeah, maybe you guys, maybe you guys are thinking differently with I than I am with how to move forward with the Dynasty series. Because maybe you're looking at like, well, a lot of these guys would not have came back in 2021 if they had this season that they did here. Like Terrell or, you know, he's he's the prime example. So maybe we do just move on, but who knows. But anyways, yeah, drop in the comments, let me know. But we're bottom of the eighth here. I'd love to get an insurance run, the two to one lead. Feels uncomfortable, especially because I'm giving up so many leadoff hits. Get on the ground at the second baseman. Throw to first. One gone. Hey, All right, Freddie. One for three. Let's go. Nobody on base and one gone popped up to That's not going to work. Center. We've so got the right guys up here to get an insurance run, but man, this is not working out. Because I'd like to get those guys on, steal bases, get to third, even a sack fly, ground out, something. We just need one insurance run. 2-0 count here. Man, I would love for him to just throw it right over the plate. There we go. Oh, I think he got it. Gone. Yep. Adrian Del Castillo coming up huge. That's the insurance run we needed. Man, he did throw it right over the plate. I thought we might get something to hit because he went 2-0 and you got to throw a strike. So I was just kind of sitting on that fastball. Yes, there we go. Okay, that's what we needed. Three to one. Breathe a little easier, although it's still tight. Yeah, you had that sacrifice fly earlier. And that's it, guys. You guys have seen it. Solo homer for Del Castillo. Got us on the board with the sack fly. We roll over one here. But Alex Terrell had a solo homer in the six, and that's been With it for our offense and scoring go, runs. It's three to one. The offense has been impressive today. You know, I thought their pitching was good, but I was kind of speaking more in the totality of their team and not specifically with their one starting pitcher. What are we doing? Okay. There. Okay. Nice play, Crosby. Took me a while to get over there. Actually, I don't want Cros. I'm gonna move Crosby to left field. Now that I think about it, and because Rivera's got a little bit better arm, I'm gonna put him in right. Breaking ball down and on the inside corner for a strike. That was big because that's that leadoff hitter I was talking about. Giving up way too many hits there. Especially, you know, a situation if you give up a base runner, then all they need is a home run to tie it up. So that's good. A get there. The oh, that's tough. Okay, 0-2. Let's get a strikeout. Yeah, just, just missed miss. it. Oh. 
There we go. That's a strikeout. Slider away on right-handed batters with a right-handed pitcher. That's exactly what you want to do with a slider. You know, backdoor sliders are fun to sneak in too, but man, that righty on righty just sweeping all the way across the plate. Especially with two strikes. It's just such a great pitch. Back up the oh, Fetterman is right to him. Man, I, I was getting ready to get excited that we get this win. It was right up the middle. Not going to make it easy. Okay, okay, we got to lock in here. All right, let's get some strikes. strike, got a fastball. The big hook is away for a ball. Come on. Pop out, double play, something. Or ground out, I mean. That one's fine okay, too. one, two. Okay, we, let's see if we can strike him out here. That'd be a great way to end the game. Game one of the College World Series final. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Okay. He's going to lay that off on that. 2 2 count. Okay. I still want him to chase, though. We've got to set something outside. I want him to chase. There it is, a strikeout. That's a great way to end the game. Daniel Fetterman came up huge. Five out save. Solo home runs by our left handed Sluggers. Against our right handed pitcher, but for the most part, held in check. But we got the win. 3 to 1. Only seven hits. It's their job to come in that game late. That's crazy. That might be. That's one of our lowest hit totals of the season. Comes in a huge game, but we get that win. We grinded it out. Pretty good defensively. A few lapses here and there. Gave up too many leadoff hits, but that was great. Overall, a great win in game one. We're one win away from winning the 2020 National Championship. Miami has not won one since 2001, so you know I want to deliver that. We're the favorites. It's where we want to be. We just need to go ahead and close it all out. Give you guys a championship to celebrate. I know Bones wants a parade in Coral Gables. Okay, here we go. Looking at the box score. Man, no hits for that bottom of the half of the order. My goodness, no hits. Guys got to step up. Zamora, 15 errors now. Felt like most of those were early. The rare caught stealing. But it does happen. Sacconi, good. Palmquist, solid. Fetterman was a beast. Just want to thank everybody for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Check out InsideTheU.com for all your coverage of the Miami Hurricanes. You can hit me up on Twitter at InsideTheU. And hopefully everyone has a great day. Coming back for game two.